Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Shocker Hitch HD Air Receiver Hitch with Adjustable Drop Ball Mount. This heavy duty shock absorbing hitch features an airbag and cushioned bump stops that are going to provide a smooth and comfortable ride while limiting chucking and jerking to give you better control of your tow vehicle and trailer. It's going to help to extend the life of your truck and trailer by protecting them from unnecessary wear and tear and reducing noise and rattle common when towing with standard ball mounts. So this hooks your trailer to your tow vehicle with this included adjustable drop mount with a two and five sixteenths inch ball. And the maximum gross towing weight with this two and five sixteenths inch ball is 20,000 pounds, with a tongue weight of 2,000 pounds. But you do want to remember that a towing setup is always limited by its lowest rated component, whether that be your vehicle, your hitch, or another component. Now, also included are these two easy to remove pins, these large rings are easy to grasp. I can fit up to four of my fingers uh, through one of the rings. So you're not going to have to worry about fumbling with small hitch pin heads. And these can be folded uh, one way or the other to uh, get out of your way. And these large safety clips are going to uh, make uh, securing the pin and clips very easy. And just to show you uh, briefly how easy this is to adjust. Let me go ahead and remove uh, our clips. Then I'm going to remove our pins here and just move this up to the highest setting here. So as you can see those pins are easy to adjust. They slide uh, in and out of those adjustment holes rather easily. And then again these large clips are going to be very easy to put back into place. Now this is going to give you a drop range from about five inches to about seven and a half inches. And the inside width of this channel is sitting right at about three and three quarters inches wide. And the distance between these adjustment holes uh, center to center is one inch center to center in between each of those adjustment holes. Now you can mount any shocker hitch accessory including a pintle hook, a clevis pin, and drawbar attachments in the channel here to hook up even more trailers. Of course those attachments are sold separately but if you're interested in checking out um, those attachments you can find them under the related product section on this product page. So this air hitch works like a teeter-totter with our airbag on one end and your trailer coupler on the other end. And as your trailer exerts force downward, the unit pivots and this airbag is going to absorb the energy. When your trailer jerks backward or pushes forward, these two cushioned bump stops are going to um, reduce the force for a smoother ride. Now this airbag is easily adjustable. For heavier loads, you're going to add more air and for lighter loads, you're just going to let air out. To determine the correct amount of air to use, you're gonna simply hook your trailer up and then load the trailer the way that you are going to tow it and then just add air until these bump stops right here at the top begin to compress. Once these bump stops begin to compress, then you should have the right amount of air for your airbag. So we have our air valve right here that's going to make it very easy to uh, put air in and let air out, and it does include a cap. And then when I turn this around, we do have a Zerk fitting, a Zerk fitting here that's going to make lubricating this pivot point very easy. This is made here in the USA of a grade 50 steel plate construction and a cold rolled steel shank. That's going to give you maximum durability. This is also shot blasted and powder coated to prevent rust and the, the um, drop 
ball mount itself is also shot blasted, but the ball, this steel ball, is zinc plated to help fight off that rust and corrosion. So again, this is going to fit your two and a half inch trailer hitch receiver. The hitch pin hole diameter is five eighths of an inch. This does not include a pin or clip. Um, those are sold separately, so if you don't already have the compatible pin and clip, you would have to pick one of those up. However, since this is really an investment that you're making, I would recommend checking out the Infinite Rule locking pins for shocker hitch ball mounts that work for the two inch and the two and a half inch um, hitches. And as you can see there on the screen, you're going to get three locking pins. Uh, the shorter pin is going to lock and secure this to your hitch on your truck. And then those other two pins are going to lock and secure the attachment to your shocker hitch. So I have included our item number on your screen. Um, to, if you want to check those out and just put that item number in the search field of our website here at eTrailer.com and it will take you to those locking pins. Now the distance from the first hitch pin hole to the center of our ball is about 10 and 3 8 inches and then from the second hitch pin hole to the center of our ball we're sitting at about 11 and 3 8 inches. I do want to point out that this will not fit SUVs, CUVs, or sedans due to limited clearance. This will uh, also not fit a 3 inch hitch even with a reducer sleeve. And it does require five inches of clearance below the bottom of your receiver tube. It also requires a minimum of seven inches of clearance between the center of your hitch pin hole and the rearmost point of your truck. And the receiver opening should be flush with your bumper or protruding from the rear of the vehicle for the best fit. Now, if there are some dimensions that you were looking for that I did not go over with you today, we do have additional dimensions along with some diagrams on this product page that might provide just the, um, the dimensions that you are looking for. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.